Hey CNCers! Today I'll walk you through the process of setting up GSender Edge for remote use. The remote or headless feature allows any device to connect to your CNC's computer. The remote device must be able to connect to the Wi-Fi and run a web browser. This feature is handy if you'd like to load a file from your design computer outside of the shop, then run it on your shop computer. Use a tablet rather than a mouse and a keyboard. Use a phone for the occasional use for jogging and running functions. To get started, if you have GSender open, you'll want to close it now. We need to edit the shortcut properties of GSender. In Windows, open the Start menu and find the GSender tile or scroll through the listings. Right click the icon, hover over More, then left click Open File Location. Once the folder pops up, right click on the GSender icon and left click on Properties. In the Properties dialog box, click the tab called Shortcut. Look for the space next to target and type the following after the quotes, space, dash, dash, headless. Click apply and on the warning box, click continue. Click OK to exit and then close the window. GSender has to be open using administrative mode. Right click on the icon, then left click more, then left click run as administrator. Once open, you should see the antenna icon and a series of numbers in the top left. G-Center has been successfully set up for remote control. Enjoy it. Let's test this out. On a tablet or computer, open your favorite web browser and type in that series of numbers into the address bar. Hit enter. G-Center will appear on the screen. You're now controlling your machine remotely. As this is still in development, let us know how we can make this feature great. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.